it stuck to me. It stuck with me. It's like whatever's going on, we need we need Swerve and Will Osprey back on this TV. And the sooner the better, we need fucking Kenny Omega on this show too. Mm. Instead of you know fighting Gabe Kid to sell his match in a couple months on in Japan. No. How do you think they squared? How do you think they square all of this stuff with like Death Riders, the Elite, Kenny Omega? How do you no, think? They, how I do you don't think know. They... It's it's really everything's on the table. Like once they did that shred pa- papers angle thing, I'm intrigued. They got to tell me where we're going at this point. I don't even know what to be like. Did you make I... some type of backroom deal with Moxley where it was like you gave him some bad paperwork or something, or that he found out about? I I don't know. Well, I, well, I mean, as far as like, all right. They took Kenny Omega off TV. They, Okada and the Elite took Omega off TV. Kenny Omega and comes back to fight Jack had, Perry. And, they, and obviously they had Jack Perry doing uh, uh, V-triggers and shit. And they had he, the has to, he has to go bucket them. Yeah. But the biggest force in the promotion right now is John Moxley. And John Moxley and Omega have an all-time feud, except for a fucking dud uh, go- not going off. So, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be solved and figured out as far as like how they're going to deploy the Kenny Omega bomb when he comes back. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's going to be unfulfilling, so um, <laughs> I'm so? in no rush. <laughs> you think it's going to be unfulfilling for real? <laughs> I, I I just I feel like if, if I think there's a lot of stuff, I, well, I think there's a lot of stuff to play with. I'm just interested to see like in your mind like where do you think it goes? It's just I feel like if they were if they wanted to position Kenny Omega the way he should have been positioned, he would have already been like pushed as such in the previous five years in this company. And I'm just like, wait, so you don't think he's ever pushed like when he was a champion in 2021? You don't think he was a you don't think he was a, a top champion? It was all right. Like you know, it was, like it was, it was, was a great. Like he was doing great work. Let's you not. You think it was because he was a heel? Uh, I I don't know. It was just like you know, like I think that. Or do you Ken, think he got like, a great run? The service of Adam Page. What's up? Or you feel like? Yeah, well, it, it, was it, great, it, it really was wasn't his story. It, it really wasn't about him. Like it was, it, you know, there's something to that. That's the, true. Like, and it was just like when it, when are you going to be uh, pushed as the man? It, it's not going to happen. All right. Um, <laughs> so I'm I'm just like, oh, wh- whatever. Come back, fight Jack Perry, wrestle Okada, fight a couple new people you never faced before. But like, I'm not holding my breath for them to be like, you're the man. Run with the ball. Be the baby face. Be the biggest star. I'm I'm well, I've I, let that walk out the door. Well, I don't. Well, I'm not even necessarily about being the biggest star, but it's like there's so much stuff for him to play with as far as like him coming back. Whatever his interaction is going to be with, with Osprey, as far as like a reconciliation or a uh, meeting of the minds, as far as the real get back on Callus, there's the the oh, there's the Moxley stuff, right? Uh, there's the also the the whatever is going to happen with Okada and the Elite. You know, like I feel like there are three things, three major programs all at play whenever he comes back. So like whether or not he's a champion or he's a top guy or he's an ace or whatever else like that's to me like that's not actually like the most important thing on is like he has three awesome storylines to go through if they do it and it's like he's coming back relatively in the next few months in the next couple months next few months so it's like how are they positioning the rest of the chessboard for when you know the king the queen or whatever else on the chessboard comes back. I feel like you move everything out to like if the way that I think he is seen, they're not they'll fit him in where he fits, right? But uh-huh. I feel like if you have Kenny Omega, you should be rearranging the chessboard altogether. But they never do that, so I'm like, okay, okay, I get you. Because you know. it's also another. Well, uh, like the injury fucked up a lot of stuff. Like the like, cause they had a whole year of like, you know, the elite turned evil. Would him and Hangman have reconciled? Like, it, there was a lot of stuff with the injury. The injury like fucked up story potential storylines that maybe they can get back to it over else. But like, Hangman seems too far gone to try to like. 
if Kenny Omega was the person to save him, that's kind of like, really? Because he saved him last time, too. <laughs> and then the fucker turned on him. Because he was jealous of him. And then, and then the person ended up, and then ultimately the person they say like, well, no, 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 we'll just boo Hangman. Like, what? I watched all this since 2019. Like, Kenny Omega saved this man. He turned on him. Y'all cheer for the other guy. Y'all che- it, it's like, whatever, whatever. We're, we're just doing what we want, but whatever. Like, our I'm, I'm point is like, there are so many cool things for Kenny Omega to do when he comes back. And it's like, like, look how they're returning I, other not, people. I'm not, I, like, yeah, basically, it, it like, doesn't inspire exactly confidence. Easy. Like, look how they're returning Adam Cole and MJF. Like, it's just like, oh, like, it, they it, just it's, doing shit. But then again, but here's the thing, right? And I know Adam Cole is not Kenny Omega. I understand that. Yeah. <laughs> but there's also a part of like, there's also a part where it's like, well, MJF's the bigger star. MJF's better as a heel. We got to turn him heel. But it's like, hey, man, have you ever watched Adam Cole's career? When has he ever been better as babyface? And so now we're now we're here. Now this is where we are right now. The real answer would have been, hey, we just had one of the worst A storylines in the history of this promotion. We're never putting you two together to interact ever again. They just said, we're going to go right back to it. That was their mistake. They should have never done that. The real answer, fucking forget it. <laughs> right. Don't ever do it again. Pretend like, hey man, y'all two never interact again. We're gonna put, like, we're never putting both of you in the same battle royal, casino battle royal accident where you, you know, fight each other, fist of fury or whatever else, clear the ring, and all of a sudden you, 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 you both like back into each other, you turn around, and you're like, oh, it's you. No, we're never even gonna tease that. We're gonna pretend it should never happen. You're never gonna be the same match ever again. Yeah, I, I, I'm content with the Gabe Kid thing. Whenever they figure it out, they'll figure it out. So, mm, you know. Uh, All right. But, All right. Uh, you know, I, I assume they want to do him and Okada at some point, but. Right, maybe right. Maybe that's all in. I don't know. I, I mean, you know, we talked about this a few months ago where it's like, all right, Okada, or sorry, Omega's going to come back eventually. It's almost better for a belt not to be involved, too, unless it's the right. world title. Right. You just make it like number two, fe- number two feud. And there'll be something else that's like, it helps draw people because of, you know, what that match did for. Um, a lot of, for pro wrestling uh, the decade before, um, or that program did for, for pro wrestling the decade before. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I, we said that we talked about this. I don't know if it was on or off air, but like, yeah, that's what you do now that like Omega, you know, the whole summer got fucked up because Omega, you know, had to, you know, had to get his health taken care of. So, but it's like, you know, because we, we we speculated first, like, is that going to be like they drop that at Russell Dynasty? Well, ain't no Okada on Wrestle Dynasty, so they happen in there. He's <laughs> facing the game kid. So, I mean, and, you know, obviously they've they came up with stuff that's more important. Like, the Death Rider thing has been so, so, you know, so cool. So, so the top of the, you know, card or whatever else, where it's like, they ain't got to do that right now. So, I'm just trying to figure out, like, where, all, where do Young Bucks fit in on all this? Where does Okada officially fit in all this? Where does, like, because, like, I mean, It'd be, it'd be it would be foolish of them not to utilize the you know this seemingly last chance of of whatever they have of Oka, of Omega's prime because like if he gets injured again for a long amount of time like this, you can't rely on him again after this so like get the nine months year or whatever or eighteen months so you can get out of him while you still have it so like it needs to be Oka, it needs to be Swerve uh, Page Mosley. Um, Osprey, it, it needs to be all the heavy hitters in the next 18 months. If you can actually get 18 months out of them, yeah, <laughs> we will see. Yeah, right, we will right. see. Um, but yeah, that 